I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a video which I have created for Sophia. She wants to understand how to round numbers. The question here is, round the following numbers to the nearest thousands, hundreds and tens. So you have taken up some numbers to practice with. I will make some columns so that we can write down our answers after rounding them to thousands, hundreds and tens, right? So, so we'll write in this column round two, we'll write round two, let's say thousands here, hundreds and tens. The numbers which we are going to work with are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0, 7, 8, 9, 9, 9, 6, 4, 9, 7, 6, 7, 2, 75. You can always pause your video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now first let's understand what do we mean by rounding to nearest thousands. We'll start with rounding to nearest thousand first and then move on to hundreds and tens. The number here is 12,345. So when I say round to nearest thousand, that means we are looking for a number with three zeros. So these three will be made zero. So we can write straight away without thinking much. When we say round to thousands, just write three zeros here. So any number which you now write has been rounded to thousands. That is the first thing. Then, how to make sure that that is correct? For that, we need to check hundreds position, right? If you are rounding to thousands, you have to check hundreds position. That means this position is to be checked. And check means check if the number is five or more. So whenever I say check, it means check if it is five or above. The other alternative could be less than five, right? Below five. So this is what you have to check. If the number is five or above, increase this by one, right? Then do plus one to the digit here, correct? What do you see? Three, is it five or more? No. In that case, just copy the number as such. So we get 12 here. So we have the number 12,000. So 12,345 can be rounded to 12,000. I hope you got the trick, correct? Let's do rest of them. One by one, we are going to round them to 1,000, right? So first step is just write three zeros. Don't think, don't think, right? Just write three zeros. That is the strategy. Okay, that's great. Now, we are going to look for the numbers which are left. So we have taken care of three numbers. And now we have to look for the number to the right of seven. Hundreds place. This number eight is higher than five. Five or more. So you increase seven to eight. So you get 68. Do you see that? 68,000. Now here what will you do? You have to check this position, correct? It is more than 5, make it 79. This place, 4, it is less than 5, right? Then just make it 0, I mean just leave it, correct? So 4, just copy 6 as such, don't change 6. Now in this case there is nothing here. Assume there is one zero here, right? And this number is actually greater than five, five or more. So we have to make this zero as one. This is tricky. Let me put a star here. So if you don't have numbers, you could think about zeros on this side. Now in this case, we have a zero in hundreds place. So, so this remains as zero. Perfect. So it is just a zero. You could only write zero here. Perfect. But 672 rounds to 1000. Any number less than 500 so if I have, let's say, 499, 
it will round to zero. Do you get it? So that is rounding to thousands. Now let's move on to rounding to hundreds. Hundreds, you guessed it, two places, right? So just put two places. We know these two should be zeros for us, right? So we'll put zeros here to begin with. Correct. And now we will check the other positions. So at this stage, you have to check what happens to, now if you see this, we already put two zeros for tens, ones and tens place, correct? We are rounding to hundreds. So if I write one here, it becomes 100. So that is how it is, hundreds. To round to hundreds, we have to check tens place. You have to check tens place. Tens place is, in this case, four. Is it five or more? No, it is not. Then retain what you have, one, two, three. So in that case, I will just write one, two, three. So we have one, two, three. So one, two, three, four, five rounds to one, two, three hundred since four is less than five. Check nine is more, so it becomes six, seven, nine. Increase eight by one, so it becomes six, seven, nine. Next digit, again it is nine. We'll increase this nine by one. It means what comes after 789? 789, 790. So this is also very tricky. It becomes 790. Correct? So, so instead of 78, 9, it becomes 790. After 89, when you add 1, it becomes 90, right? So it becomes 79,000, as you can see here. We have 6,497. Since 9 is more than 5, it becomes 6,500. So we'll write this as 6, 5. 672, check 7. It is 5 or more. So increase 6 by 1, you get 700. 75. Now 7 is more than 5, so it becomes 100. Is that okay? That is how you round to hundreds. So whenever you round to hundreds, you'll get some hundred as your number. The last here is how to round to tens. When you round to tens, you'll get zero in one's position. You'll get zero in one's position. And you have to check the tens. <coughs> you have to change the tens position depending on one's position. So let's go to 12,345. The number here is 5, correct? Which we made 0. Whatever we made 0 last is 5. Since 5 is 5 or more, we'll increase 4 by 1. So what do we get here? 1, 2, 3, 5. So we get 1, 2, 3, 50. Do you see that? 90 is already rounded to 10s the number doesn't change. So we have 6, 7, 8, 9. 7, 8, 9, 9, 9. What happens to this? We have to increase 9 by 1. After 99, you get 100. So it becomes 7,900. 7,900. Do you see that? So in this particular column, you will observe that all the numbers are same. because of these nines. Okay, let's move on. Rounding to tens, after 97, we get 100, right? So it becomes 6,500. So that rounds to 10. So it is 6,500. 72. 7, 2. 2 is less than 5, so we'll just make it 70. And we have 6 here, 670. 75. 5 or more, round higher, it becomes 80. So that is how you can round your numbers to thousands, hundreds, and tens. I hope that helps, right? So you could write more numbers and practice rounding in this fashion. So let me give you a few numbers here. Let's say we have 25,672 as one of your numbers. 
618 and round the number 40. Round these numbers to thousands, hundreds and tens and then write the answer in the comments below. I can always check it for you. I hope you understand how we can round the numbers to thousands, hundreds and tens. Feel free to post your questions. Thank you and all the best.